Okay, I've changed cards. I'm back over here now, and I'm about to. Uh, I've got about 10 minutes, so I might just spend four or five just uh, going through here, and then I'll just take a quick trip over to uh, Mandela. Yeah, they're all starting to colour up now, and then they'll grey, you know, yellow and go grey. Whereas uh, with Prefolia, they just, uh, you know, they, they do something different. Uh, yeah. I have talked about this in the past, so, uh, you know, you can, uh, can't spend too much time here. I said they're, they're beyond their prime. Uh, if they flit, Yeah. I mean this area in here I think we went to there's the uh, yeah. so the sun's out I'm four notches down and I've checked there some glitch down there that was that's a glitch Two notches over in coloration, four notches down in intensity, probably totally wrong or something, it's gonna look a bit dark or a bit grainy or something. Low dynamics, high resolution. And I thought I'd just come in here, well, it looks, even though, you know, they passed the prime, the, the, the coloring up again, well, culling up, I should say, not like profile that colors up, comes out colorful, loses its color, then colors up again. Whereas, uh, these die in a slightly different manner to the, the way the profiles do. But uh, yeah. Weren't there a few more around here? Yeah, a few more around here. Oh, you just gotta be here, because don't forget, I'm seeing this all in 3D, of course. And also you gotta come here at the right time of year. So, you know, follow my videos. I usually put them up fairly shortly after they've been taken so they're pretty much in sync with the, the, the season sort of thing and you can check through past clips as well you know the, what the variability is between the, the season sort of thing roughly and you can plan your trip so if you're on your way to WA you can pop in grab a cup of coffee have a chat for half an afternoon or something yeah I said, I won't be starting up my hobby again until I've really cracked the fly trap sort of thing, you know. And then I'll get back into it. And then I'll be uh, wanting all the common seeds. So, you know, all the various types of uh, capensis, you know, what you think is your waste, your rubbish material, that'll be, that'll be CP gold for me. Because, you know, I haven't grown some of those things for yonks. And it will be interesting to see how they do under the new regime. Now that should be a good test for the, the four notches down, I suppose. Anything on here in any smattering of, um, oh, now it says I've got 14 minutes. Is it just certain, <laughs> I started off on 10, now it says I've got 14, you know, and, uh, it's almost like it's, it's got a brain, this thing is, it's, it's having a, a lend of me. Or is it this, this story we, we've been uh, promulgating or proffering that maybe some of the companies are a bit more generous than other companies and they give you an extra block and you don't find out until the end? Sort of thing. I don't know. <laughs> and eventually you get interested enough to actually look at the brand name of the car and find out, oh, oh it's only this brand that does it. <laughs> is that what it is? Or oh, oh, have I touched something by accident and uh, you've lost half your clarity sort of thing, but I've got twice as long. Something like that. Oh, I don't know, but anyway. Test run on focus. Because I'm on zoom, hopefully, and I'm on stabiliser. Yeah, I haven't changed that, so... I think that's what it is, fellas. Oh, that is a good shot for you. I don't know. One there, or over there. Facebook page. Facebook page header or something. Cover photo, or whatever they call it. Oh, well, if we've got that extra long, I'll go as fast as I can, but, you know, we could linger on a, a few things. But as you see, go, it, it, you know, another few weeks and 
it'll be totally saturated in yellow on either side and uh, you get it at its prime at various times during the day you know it, it makes up for all these going off prime sort of thing yeah we were going to check down here somewhere wasn't there we thought someone had pinched a really prime plant from last season we yeah i reckon it was there don't you reckon it was there I think someone's dug it out. Maybe, hopefully, it's just a school kid that doesn't know any better. Yeah. That's one of the reasons I didn't really focus in on the um, spathia prefolio uh, that I've seen year in, year out of that spot, because if I did, you'd know exactly where it was, and uh, someone would nab, nab it. As I said, it takes a little while for you to get your eye in and see it each, each season, but it's... It's been there every season since I've been going up to that site anyway. So, uh, and I have got photographs of it, you know, in old fashioned non digital photographs. So, uh, but as I said, there's um, a form that uh, the late Fred Howe used to bring in year in, year out. Oh, I don't know if he was just having a lend of us or rubbing our noses in it or something, I don't know. Uh, uh, but he never said where it was from. And then toward you know, the late Shadow Chedic, he had this story that someone told him there were prey failures on the other side of the, behind, no, the, the quote is behind the cloud and oval. And we're just trying to work out what he means by behind, well, what the person meant by behind. I did go up to um, Loberthal, Loberthal one year, which I think I've got on VHS, thinking maybe they meant Loberthal rather than Clarendon because there is a big bushland reserve up there but as soon as I got out there I thought nah not, not quite the right, right sort of vegetation unless I don't know something about profolia you know there's even something extra for me to learn about it or something I don't know but uh, anyway come to the end here 10 minutes on the card apparently a magic 10 minutes magic mites magic 10 minutes I don't know So, uh, yeah, come down here and uh, hopefully I haven't done anything stupid. And I've got to find my keys, which should be in here, hopefully. Because I've got like two jackets on there. And probably find all these clips are going to get home and all these clips are ruined because this gentle breeze in the background to me is probably a, a, a howling hubbub in the bin. Yeah, anyway, oh, I think I'll just, well, I don't know, I've got to take this off, I won't be able to sit down in the, in the hang on, executive, ex executive decision, <laughs> step out of it, <laughs> over there, and uh, we'll shoot round to uh, Mandalay Reserve and see if we've got, well, I don't think we'll have any germination of the thing, because there's been no germination up here, so I doubt there'll be any germination up there until we've got germination, but we'll go and have a look. How about that? Okay, over and out. Oh, you want the full smeg, do you? Okay, the drive out and everything. Just a minute. Seatbelt on, as you do. Okay, well, this is probably going to be a long thing because it probably don't have to be 14 minutes, so. There is a way, apparently, getting through there. And I did work it out one year, but I lost the clips. They were the same clips that had the, um, getting the seed for um, Sean on. Uh, I thought I had saved them. I may have saved them to my son's mobile phone or my son's something else by accident, and he didn't bother to save them or keep them and wipe them before I asked, do you, do you know where these are gone? <laughs> I don't know, it's like a little bit of a hush-hush situation, I don't know. Or they're somewhere around and I just haven't, you know, found them yet, you know. They're, 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 they're files within a file sort of thing, that sort of thing. I don't know. But anyway, I suppose we'll find out. It looks pretty dark in the monitor, so maybe I have made a mistake. Oh well, live and let learn, I suppose. Anyway, let's pull over here. See if we can get a colour check on the sign or something. Okay. 
it might look like in the morning, it's an outmodel, fantastic home, I don't know. Anyway, over and out, see ya.